This is your mission. This request is coming from the Bernard and Felix Foundation. They want you to take out the enemy forces assaulting Omer's sphere. Some big shot of the BFF has drawn up the mission plan this time. So, you better listen up. Right now, the enemy forces are moving through White End towards the sphere. Blast through their rear column using the VOB and take out as many units as possible along the way. Once you've penetrated the front line, turn around and engage the survivors. So the plan says. It's not a bad plan. You shouldn't have any problems. We'll look forward to hearing from you. mission. Use the VOB to break through the advancing enemy force. Do as much damage as you can on the way, and the rest of the mission will be a cakewalk. Depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. VOB depleted. Purging. Destroy all remaining enemy units. Hang in there. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. This is the mission. The client is GA America. The target is the algebra forces guarding the Richland Agricultural Plant. Your task is extremely simple. We want you to destroy all enemy units. There's one catch. The enemy has commandeered a GA manufactured arms fort. The client could not give us many details, but it sounds like it's gonna give you some trouble. Oh yeah. 
Like before, we can provide you with support next for this mission. Let me know if you want to draw on these resources. Anyway, that's all. It's a dangerous job, but the pay makes it worth your while. Let us know if you're in. Commence mission. Arms Fort Landcrafts confirmed. Intel was right on the money this time. They're standard models, but don't underestimate them. Proceed with caution. Don't waste ammunition on its front. Circle around it while avoiding the main cannon's firing radius. Landcraft destroyed. Good. Now just mop up the small fry. Let's clean up and go home. Targets destroyed. Mission complete. Okay, here's the mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. The objective is to destroy the defenses at Taurus Corporation's B7 deep mining facility. The main enemy force consists of normals and autonomous drones. Depending on how many of them there are, they should be no problem for a next. The automated defense systems will try to close the external barricades. You have permission from the client to destroy them. This shouldn't damage the facility itself. Briefing over. This is an excellent opportunity for you to strengthen ties with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, right? Commence mission. Eliminate all enemy defense units. An unidentified craft has infiltrated the facility. It is believed to be an enemy next. All units assume battle ready formation. Targets destroyed. Mission complete.
Here is your mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. Your objective is to destroy the fleet currently docked in the port of former Chinese Shanghai. The fleet is a combination of GA America and BFF forces, and includes a number of special edition normals. However, we don't believe these weapons would give you much trouble. The client wants you to coordinate with support units. Battlefield strategy is up to you, of course, but there's no need to be a hero. That is all. This is a rare chance to improve your relationship with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, don't you think? Commence mission. Eradicate the enemy fleet and enemy arms fort. Special edition normal detected. It's equipped with a frontal shield. Don't waste ordnance on that shield. Maneuver behind it and strike the rear hull. Targets have been destroyed. Only a few targets remaining. Arms Fort Gigabase identified. It may be a relic, but it's still an arms fort. Don't underestimate it. This is the mission. During trial operations, Cradle 2-1 was occupied by the Liliana insurgents. They are an extremist anti-establishment group, more radical even than Ninark. They are committed to violence for its own sake, and little else. You have been given special clearance to enter Cradle airspace. We want you to seek out the enemy and destroy them. Remember to limit the damage to Cradle 2-1 as much as possible. We're offering significant bonuses if you can keep the damage to a minimum. This should be no problem for a top lynx like yourself. We look forward to your reply. This is the mission. During trial operations, Cradle 2-1 was occupied by the Liliana Commence mission. Retake Cradle 2-1 and eliminate the Liliana insurgents. They're extremists, but they can only deploy normals. No match for a next. You should have little problem taking them out. It's a Lynx inbound. Crap! It must be the League's doing! A colored soldier! <laughs> Nothing more than a wild cat without fangs. Show them. Victory rewards the ready. Damn. Let's just do it. Fire! Blast them! Five targets remaining. Liliana forever! Four left. Two left. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Well, that's it. You've passed. Nothing more to say.
I'll tell you about your mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. The target is BFF Corporation's main arms board, Spirit of Motherwill. The enemy AF is armed with large bore long range ordnance. It's an oversized, out of date machine, but the long range punch it can deliver still makes it a serious threat. To counter this, the client has proposed you use a Vanguard Overboost unit to approach your target. Its tremendous speed should allow you to close on the target's perimeter without getting hit. Once you've closed in, target the gun batteries. Destroying those guns should also cause damage to the machine's interior. It's pretty poorly designed, but that kind of sloppy work is expected of them. That's the briefing. This is a very important mission for Omer Science Technology. We hope you come through for us. Mission. Destroy the BFF arms fort, Spirit of Motherwell. First, the VOB will let you quickly close in on the target. This is real high-speed combat. You'll need 100% focus. VOB nearly depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. You'll be depleted. Purging. Those cannons will rip you to shreds. Focus on evading their fire. fallen. Mission complete. Now you can really call yourself an elite mercenary.
The League has focused on maintaining complete and utter control. They agreed this goal could never be entrusted to any single person who, if eliminated, could jeopardize their reign. So in the aftermath of the Lynx War, the League manufactured enormous battle stations called arms forts. Manned by a crew of thousands of expendable soldiers, this was military might the League could control and therefore trust. Arms forts have become the perfect solution to the League's needs, and their firepower far and away surpasses the average next. Dream and hope as they might, the next pilots know that those who dare take on giants rarely live to tell the tale.